So in this video we're going to do a stainless steel overhead stick welding fillet joint. It's going to be in the 4F or PD position. We're using 2.5mm 316L, elves for low hydrogen stick rods. And we're doing it on 3mm thick plate. So we're using an ESAB Rogue set and we're doing it with 69 amps DC electrode positive. So we're keeping our rod tight up in the corner. We've got a 15 degree drag angle. We're trying to keep that flux at the back of the pool so we don't want it in the front because obviously that will push the weld mat on either side and give us a lack of fusion area so if you can see from this we're actually quite acute with our angle we're not putting in at 45 now we're pointing more towards the top plate because gravity is going to try and pull that weld down to the bottom so we need to keep the weld mat predominantly on the top plate which will help us maintain that 45 degree profile that we're looking for in a fillet weld so we're coming to the end of that run we've got a nice even ripple formation nice even profile and then we're moving on to our second pass so we're doing three runs in total so our second pass we're looking to cover three quarters of the previous run we're still dragging at 15 so we need to keep the arc length fairly tight as we're working on the overhead position so on this run i've just lifted the angle just slightly so we're pointing a little bit more towards that bottom plate so one of the tricky things with stainless steel stick welding as you move along the joint that rod's getting hotter and hotter what you'll find is the characteristics of how that weld pool is reacting changes as you work down and work further through the rod when you're getting towards the end it melts a lot quicker so you have to increase your travel speed so this is why when you're setting your amps you have to be careful that you're not setting them too high because if you do you have a really high chance of that rod overheating to the point where it becomes unweldable so we're coming towards the end of that run if you notice now how much rod i've actually got left compared to the first run it's a lot less because we've traveled a little bit slower on that run compared to the first run so now we're going to move on to our final pass this is our third run now we have to be thinking about pointing that rod more towards the top plate we have to go a lot slower with this particular run because we've got a little bit more area to fill so we've got to maintain that 45 degree fillet so we need the same distance across the top plate as the leg length as we do with the bottom plate so this is going to be a lot slower on so we've still got a 15 degree drag angle we're still trying to keep that flux at the back so that it doesn't cause us any issues as we're traveling a lot slower on this run we can't do this in one run we're going to have to use another rod so remember to chip the slag off your previous run before you do a restart stainless rods don't like to restart over slag so coming towards the end of that run be careful of that stainless steel slag as it has a tendency to ping off when it cools now that we've demonstrated how to complete an overhead stainless fillet weld you'll now see the video on screen showing you the same weld in the flat position or alternatively you can explore our series to find another video that sparks your interest we'll see you there